Hey, this is the Solid Signal podcast for the week of May 9th, 2022. We're rolling up. It's going to be Memorial Day before you know it. Time for a little bit of beach, a little bit of barbecue, and a little bit of beer, if that is something that you can legally imbibe. No, uh, no judgment here. Anyway, the subject of this week's podcast is top eight myths of cell phone signal boosters. Now, I have often said that cell boosters are this inexplicable thing that no, nobody seems to know about, and yet everybody wants. And I still don't get it. Um, I mean, I've been blogging about cell boosters for about a decade, and I'm not quite sure why they haven't taken off, because after all, your cell phone is really your most prized possession. It's the thing that you would really feel most uncomfortable about if you left it somewhere and, and you'd miss it and it would make you really anxious. You'd want to replace it as quick as possible. And if there were a device that could make not only your phone, but every phone in the vicinity actually work better, wouldn't you want one of those? And yet such a thing does exist. Fewer than 5% of the population uses them. I do not know why. So let's go through some top myths about cell phone signal boosters. Reasons that people just might have decided not to buy one if they'd ever heard of one. Myth number one, cell phone signal boosters will void your warranty. This is absolutely not true. It was true to some degree about a decade ago when carriers we're fighting against the use of cell phone signal boosters, but since 2014, all of the major carriers have agreed that cell phone signal booster use does not void your warranty. There's no problem with using a cell phone signal booster. Uh, it's completely approved by the FCC for that purpose, and all the carriers have pre-approved all the major models. Myth number two. Cell phone signal boosters will cause the cell network to implode. Again, this is something that was a really common myth about a decade ago, and, and you still hear it, which is kind of weird. It's possible, I, I'm not 100% sure, but it's possible that there might have been some incidents uh, in the early days of cell booster use back in you know 2005, 2006, when people did not understand what a feedback loop could do to the cell network. But it has been a long, long time since that's been a problem. And all cell phone signal boosters, uh, which are licensed for use in the United States, must have anti-feedback circuitry to guarantee they do not cause the cell network to implode. You can feel good about that. There's no worry that you're going to be the cause of a massive down event for you and your neighborhood. Myth number three, cell phone signal boosters will fry your brain. After all, a cell booster takes weak signal from outside and amplifies it massively for rebroadcast inside. Now, there's a lot of things that if you use them in a way they weren't intended can hurt you. Everything from a jackknife to a brick you know, use these things in a way that they were not intended and you're going to get hurt. And I would say that cell boosters are probably in that realm. If you happen to be the kind of person who, for some bizarre reason, straps the uh, inside antenna of a cell booster to your head, I make no promises that that thing won't hurt you. I mean, after all, it is putting out a little bit of radiation. And I can't promise it won't. But a cell phone signal booster used properly and to the you know degree that you're usually going to be three or more feet away from the indoor antenna, which is almost always the case, is not going to hurt you. Simple as that. I'm not a doctor. Ask your doctor. Do the research yourself. But I'm just going with everything that I've been told. They're not going to fry your brain. Myth number four. Cell phone signal boosters are expensive. Well, I guess it depends on what you call expensive. You know, 10 years ago, I paid $199 for an iPhone, and then you, you probably paid about the same amount of money for, for something similar back at the time. Now, today, the top of the line iPhone with a terabyte of memory and a six inch screen and a bunch of other doodads runs you about 1,500 bucks. And I would call that expensive. 
But are cell phone signal boosters expensive? Well, it depends. I mean, six hundred bucks is a is a high end for a you know a, a home signal booster, and commercial ones run more than that. But you know, when a phone costs more than double that, and when a cell phone signal booster will help every phone that's in the vicinity and probably last longer than the next two phones you buy. No, I wouldn't call them expensive. I would just call it cost to do in business. Cell phone signal booster costs as much as a decent laptop, costs less than a high quality phone. I wouldn't call that all expensive. It's just the way we need to get through things here in 2022. Myth number five, cell phone signal boosters won't work for 5G. And this is simply untrue. Um, when it comes to nationwide 5G, you're gonna find that cell phone signal boosters do work because a lot of carriers have taken their 5G signal and put it on the same frequencies that used to be used for their 3G signal. The booster doesn't care, it's just amplifying frequencies, not kinds of signal and stuff like that. I will say there's some loopholes. For example, if you're T-Mobile and they put a lot of their 5G signals on the 600 megahertz band, um, and if your area is only served by the 600 megahertz band, then yeah, the booster isn't going to work for you. But for pretty much everybody else, it is. And, you know, if you have any questions, you can always call Solid Signal at 888-233-7563. I'll, re I'll repeat that number a little bit later. If you have questions about whether or not it would work in your particular situation. Next myth is number six. Cell phone signal boosters won't work for my carrier. And this is untrue. They will work for every single carrier in some capacity in the United States. Maybe not on every band, but they are going to do something for you, which means 99% of the time, give or take, you're going to get the signal that you need from a cell phone signal booster. Again, if you have questions, give us a call 888-233-7563. I will repeat that one or two more times. Myth number seven, cell phone signal boosters are hard to install. This is absolutely not true. Um, first of all, if you're comfortable getting up on your roof, if you're comfortable using a drill, a screwdriver, and a wrench, installing a cell phone signal booster is super easy. If you're not comfortable getting up on that roof, you can hire pretty much any handy person to do it. Uh, get a task rabbit or, or whatever, you know, person off Angie. I'm not I'm not recommending any of these services. I'm just kind of mentioning them. But if you cannot get up on your roof at all, for example, if you live in an apartment, there are also options. You can find ways to fish these cables through uh, doors and windows and still be able to close the door and the window. There are safe ways of doing that, and you can attach the antenna to something like a railing as well. There's plenty of options for installation. It's not just, you know, this got to be a, an industrial installer or contractor to do it. Simple as that. And the last myth, and perhaps the most important myth, number eight, I'm on my own picking a cell phone signal booster. This is absolutely not true. Um, you know, for a while, it was like you could go into a local big box store and you'd find a display of cell phone signal boosters there. But the big box guys they decided not to carry cell phone boosters because they didn't have anybody on the floor who was trained to understand them. Now you can get a cell, a cell phone signal booster from Amazon or from the, some of the other marketplaces out there. They don't know what they're doing either when it comes to selling you those things. If you know what you want, great. But if you don't, they're not going to help you. However, there is one place where you can get all of the free advice that you need. It's solidsignal.com. Call us. Here's that number again, 888-233-7563 during East Coast business hours, Monday through Friday. And you're going to get connected to an expert who knows all about this stuff, who's going to ask you a bunch of simple questions and then recommend the cell phone signal booster that you personally need. I got to say, this is a free service. There's no obligation. You do not have to buy anything at all. But if you do choose to buy a cell phone signal booster from SolidSignal.com, you can then shop on your own, click and have it delivered. Or the person you're talking to will be able to take your order over the phone. It's completely up to you how you want to do it. 
It's safe, it's secure, there's a variety of payment options. You can do it on your phone if you want to. I'm going to give that information to you one more time. SolidSignal.com or 888-233-7563. Anyway, that's about it for the Solid Signal podcast. I had a lot of fun with this one. It's a little bit off the beaten track of what I normally do, and it's not terribly cranky, which is, I know, the ones that tend to get a lot of traffic. Hopefully this one will as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Come back next week. In the meantime, like and subscribe. It makes me look good to my bosses. Leave a comment anywhere you get this podcast, and I will see you again next week.